I look like a lion. You are a lion. You're a lion. Hello, and welcome back to whatever it is I do here. You might be wondering, this child I found on the road. <laughs> Who is this special he was guest? eating a carcass of a chupacabra that was hit. But I saved him and I took him to McDonald's. She abducted me from Mexico. This is illegal. <laughs> She's not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> you guys might remember, this is Onion. Insert your little zoom in. Little zoom in. <laughs> also, we are not in the Midwest right now. We are in Houston, Texas. This is gonna be more so of a travel vlog. I'm kind of upset because there was a lot of good car moments we could have recorded earlier. But basically, this is going to be a travel vlog. If you don't like travel vlogs, maybe give it a whirl. I don't know. <laughs> or click away to the next guy. We're actually going to go take some pictures right now. Currently, actually, I'll show you. I am in. The rental vehicle I got from Turo, non-spons, but I wish they would sponsor me. Sponsor me, Turo. So, who knew I would get a fucking German car? I got a Passat. It's a 2015, she's got a 1.8 in it, and I'm actually really surprised on how much quicker the 1.8s are versus the 1.4 liters, so. It's kind of nice though, because it's not like I have to hop into something I don't know. I know the chassis and I know how to drive this thing. I know the platform, so it's like, I could just hop in and then start ripping. Onion over here was like, oh my gosh, you're a race car driver. No, not at all. What? She's lying. Horrible, horrible liar. Um, sorry about that. I'm still working on finding a place to drop them off. Volkswagen owners. Anyways, if you aren't familiar with Houston area, we're going to find some of the graffiti art that is around. Hopefully he knows where he's going. What is Wymas? Wymas. Wymas. E Emas. Wait, pharmacy and more. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it <laughs> she, I she made a funny. I forgot. I'm just white. On to the, the next thing. Okay. of graffiti wall. So Onion over here is saying how they typically change out the paintings or they will get painted over eventually. They don't always say the same, which is actually pretty cool because it's always going to be something new. Well, I gotta send this to my mom. I sent a photo to my mom. So just a quick update on what is going on. I just dropped Alex off at his family's house and I have to get back to my Airbnb by four o'clock. And it's three o'clock now and I have no idea where I am and how to get to the address that I'm going to. But we're gonna see if we can beat the time. I actually took a really long time to get here, longer than I thought it was gonna take. So I don't know if I'll make it in time, unless I go really fast. We're about to make a journey that's gonna be one hour and 20 
minutes. I didn't know I was going this far, but I'm in the middle of nowhere right now, to be quite honest. We are going to get to the room. So I thought, what else would I do in this situation? Might as well just vlog it. So I'm driving and all of a sudden my hair underwood turns off and I look and my phone just died. And I have no clue where I'm at. It is 4.08, I have to be at this place at 4.30. I don't know where I am. Bumper to bumper traffic uh, heading north downtown on Interstate 69. <laughs> That's the only cool thing about this is that I'm on that interstate. All right, so the first goal here is to find a place to pee. Then I'm gonna find a charger to message the Airbnb people that I will be there a little bit later than anticipated. I love the interstate and I can easily say that I'm so sick of being on the freeway right now. I'm not on the freeway anymore, I just exited to try to find some type of civilization where I can urinate and possibly get a car phone charger. I am usually not like this too. I'm a really responsible person and I I'm a, I thoroughly check over everything, but apparently freaking not. I don't know what happened or if my phones just couldn't tell you because I swore I had more battery then. Whatever. They're like, a, I want like a strip mall. I can't even hold it anymore. Any of y'all know where this is? I fuck me. So I just found this random Walmart. I don't know how to interact with any civilians here. Howdy, howdy, howdy. But I have to fucking piss. Well, meep, meep, meep. The phone is still completely dead. I don't know what the hell these birds are. They're like everywhere though. I just pissed and now I have to find a phone charger and I hope I don't get yelled at because I remember the last time I was filming in Walmart they were on me like Nazis. Let's keep this low key. Huh. 8.46 bitch. That's right. So I'm just sitting here at Walmart charging my phone in the toy aisle. It's been a long day. Hello darkness my old friend. Long story short, I am so sorry I was stuck in- This sounds like a bullshit lie, like my dog ate my homework type shit. Bumper to bumper traffic. Yeah. So, I got my charger. I'm trying to be more positive. There she is, folks. There she is. Here are the birds. Hey guys, so obviously today did not go as planned. I guess the vast majority of the day went as planned. I've been wanting to be alone in this hotel room. Alex is calling me. Sorry, I just got off the phone with Alex and then laid and stared at the ceiling for about 10 minutes straight, but I'm back. Why does this taste different? I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my suitcase, get settled in, put some shit where I want it, and then we're gonna look for some place for food. I'm in Chinatown. It's quiet, it's peaceful. I'm not mad. I can go find something authentic, like some type of Chinese food, that'd be really good. All right, that's all for right now. Whoever's watching, you're a trooper because my channel's known for like car content, and this is my travel content. Car Kayla, travel Kayla, cooking Kayla. When I made turbo Christmas cookies, that was good. Put that in your queue or something. In the club, my homie. All right. Amazing. That's good, right? Okay. Hello guys, obviously it is morning now and the light is out. Birds are chirping and I slept in a lot. It's actually 12 o'clock. So in order to function correctly, that needed to happen. Right now I'm gonna go find some breakfast. I'm gonna definitely get some Starbucks and I'm gonna head to the place I've been eyeballing for the past like nine, 10 months or so. It's this city that I just started looking into and I am super excited to finally go see in person. I've been like going on Google Maps and looking around at how the town was set up and I just kind of fell in love with it through Google Maps. So let's see if I can go fall in love with it in person. It's a place I'm considering to move. Um, obviously I'm gonna have to go there in the flesh, which is what we're doing here right now. 
So I'm actually like 19 minutes away from where it is and that's the purpose of getting this Airbnb here so close. Obviously not taking into consideration that my friend Alex who came with me is an hour and 22 minutes across Houston, like over in Baytown. Today's just gonna be about exploring and I'm gonna bring you along with. There's gonna be some parts where I probably won't be recording because I just wanna take it all in. I think I have everything I need and we're gonna head out. Let's go. I don't know if it was a good decision to wear jeans, but they're, as you saw, extremely holy jeans to at least have some ventilation going through. I just never have worn these jeans before and I spent a ridiculous amount on them. So I needed to wear them. Tejas. No, that should be good. That should be good. <laughs> they can't understand my Midwestern accent, eh? Can I get a bag with that? A bag? Thank you. I think Midwest nice is definitely a thing. All right, guys, I just got to the town here. I'm driving currently around some shopping centers in the area. It's not heavily populated but then it's not like a small town, like he said, she said type thing, which I really like. Can't believe it's March right now. It's March and freaking weather is just absolutely perfect. And I love overcast days too. It's not sunny out, but partly cloudy overcast days are my shit. So real quick, I have to pee super bad. And I just parked in one of the parking structures and I'm all the way at the top level, but there is an elevator, so it's fine until I get back to you. All right, I'm not trying to be obvious because I don't want to make it evident that I'm a tourist. In that sense, I just got some Starbucks again, and the only reason I got Starbucks is because I really had to pee, and I thought that they wouldn't let me pee if I didn't give them business. So I was just like, yeah, I'm gonna small something, something. So right now, I'm just trying to find a good spot to eat that's not like a chain restaurant. back from I guess lunch really really late lunch I'm out of breath because I took the stairs actually it wasn't that bad but like I wasn't breathing the whole time because I was like I was paranoid someone was following me but then they left at like a different staircase and I was like peace and I like booked it up the rest of the way the food was excellent since I'm like in the main town or city I'm gonna try to like go on the outskirts and kind of get a visual on the area all right, ladies and gentlemen, I am currently in the suburbs. I just don't think I would want to live somewhere where the houses are so close, especially being Texas, when you know there's land that can be widespread out, which I wouldn't start buying a house here, but I'm just kind of like gauging out the subdivisions. I would get something with open land where I can like build a pole barn, have a lift in it and all that good stuff. And I'm going to go on to Facebook Marketplace and look up some rentals in the area and then just drive by and see what kind of neighborhoods are out there or what kind of neighborhoods are in, I guess, the proximity of this whole city. So I just got done hunting, or I guess not really hunting, but just scoping, I should say, for like apartments or condos. You can tell I'm very congested, and I was around like a bunch of trees, and I'm pretty positive. Yes, this is a mask. I am allergic to whatever southern pollen this is. I'm like really bad. <laughs> like last year, when I got my bike, and I was riding my bike, with my face mask up and then I just had these on. And when I got home, my eyes were just like puffy and I felt like I was gonna die. That's exaggerating, but I'm gonna go into Walgreens and I'm gonna get some tissues and I'm gonna get some allergy medicine because I am miserable. I bought a whole box of tissues for myself, running like a faucet right now. And I got some Claritin. <laughs> Hopefully that helps. Oh my gosh. This guy needs to change his cabin air filter too, dude I got into this car the first day. This cabin air filter smelled like shh. I could probably look right now to be quite honest All I need is like I need a flathead, but I could just use a coin. Um, yeah That's it <sighs> Day two of 
Tejas. Claritin is now my best friend. It's expensive, it's more expensive, but you get what you pay for. While I'm chilling, I'm probably gonna do some editing for this. And then also, I'm gonna try to find like a, a good place for steak. Raving to work out right now. My body is like going nuts eating this ice cream, but I have to eat this fast because I'm leaving Sunday and it's Friday. Tomorrow is the day that my friend Alex and I are going to Galveston. Obviously, I've never been to this area, but he's gone to Galveston before since his family lives out here. So it's right on the ocean, obviously the Gulf side of the ocean. Don't have a specify there, really. That's it. And so it's perfect. The AC thing just turned on, so good timing. It is day three in Houston, Texas. Uh, good morning. I'm wearing the same jeans as yesterday, as you'll notice, because I only brought one pair of jeans thinking that it was gonna be in the 80s and the forecast changed, so I'm not dirty, I just don't have options, okay? Have to run and grab some breakfast, and then I'm going to go shoot toward Alex's family's, and then pick them up, and then we're going to Galveston. It's supposed to be in the 80s inland here, west of Houston, but when we get out there, I guess it's like 69, 70. <laughs> So, just picked up Onion. <laughs> Walk in the sand and then uh, show you the boardwalk. You're gonna see the ocean. So much rice. I thought you were going somewhere with it. No, no, no. Road trip! Overseeing everything. What a guy. Hey! We just had some appetizers that were very, very greasy, so we're just trying to make up for all the greasiness that's cooling up in our stomachs. That's it. Ooh. A little civic action there. Last day. All right, I'm crouching right now because, actually I can pack. My hair straightener is on the AC unit right now, cooling off because I have to pack it. Um, freaking fun story. So it is not even kidding, it is 8.27 in the morning. I'm like getting ready in the bathroom. It's 9.54 right now, I'm just gonna... That was my hair straightener. Oh my God. Okay, well we can pack this now. Okay, so as I was saying, there's a fun story along with that. So I was actually looking at museums at the time, and then I was gonna start getting ready. It was 827. And then I hear a knock on the door, and it was housekeeping. And I'm like, okay. And I've never got offered housekeeping before. Usually Airbnbs don't really have that. So I'm like, oh, no, thank you. Yeah, I'm checking out at 10 o'clock. And she's like, oh, okay. And I'm like, okay, yeah, whatever. They probably just had their times messed up. So the first time she came was 827. And then the next time she came was 917. She knocks again. And I'm like, yes. And she's like, aren't you checking out today? I'm like, at 10 o'clock. And she's like, okay. So I'm like, you're there like rushing me to get out of here. I'm gonna head out because actually 9.57, I actually it's almost 10 o'clock. So I'm running up right to the, to the point for no particular reason. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just got done getting ready. So that's why. We got the Nike blazers, some shorts, navy blue tank, and then the cardigan. Make sure I have everything and then get to the Passat. Turn this off. Okay. A day to burn and then we go home. Yeah, let's go find some breakfast. Oh, and then I also just wanna apologize how we were in Galveston yesterday and we just kinda of cut it all off. It was just like one thing after another was happening. I just wanted to enjoy the moment and sometimes you just don't wanna bother with recording and everything else. We got some shots of Galveston and the coastline, which is absolutely gorgeous. I was very, very happy that I went to go visit that place in particular. All right, so I know exactly where I'm going for breakfast. So if you've been watching me for a while, maybe you've seen in the past that I need Waffle House, which in the North, we don't have any. Um, actually, I mean, that's kind of a lie because the closest one I have is four hours from me and that'd be in Indianapolis. So we're gonna get our Waffle House fixed. So I just got done at Waffle House. I ate all of my food because I was that hungry and I feel like that bloated ass feeling right now. I'm toast. I've been driving for a very long time and I'm just freaking toast. So I'm at Target right now. I have to poop really bad. I'm gonna get some Starbucks and then I don't know. I have like an hour left to figure out what I want to do. I want to announce that I'm officially a Texan now. Yeah. 
So I'm gonna go pick up Alex. That's where my next destination is. We're gonna take the journey there. It's about 25 minutes away from where I'm at right now. All right, so we just dropped off the turtle car. I picked up Alex. We had a decent drive here. Um, now there's people getting on, so I'm not gonna vlog and make them uncomfortable that I'm a psychotic blonde, five foot four person. Wanna see the galactic, galactic run? We're gonna call it the galactic run. We're gonna go back to the land where everything is a lot smaller. Cause nothing is big in Wisconsin. All right, so we got B-dubs. We've got, what else? We got Dunkin' Donuts down there, I think. There's gotta be a directory of what's in the airport. Can we get some drinks? Just kidding. We're gonna be $500 in debt if we get anything with alcohol in it at the airport. Yeah. Big facts. There's papas, papas, papasitos. Dude, I'm just like not done with Mexican food yet, so let's go to the cantina. All right. Eight and nine. I got the fries that'll cross your eyes. I got the buns that will. I don't even know the rest of it. Make you run? But no. I got burgers. Well, I just got burgers. All right, we'll get back to you once something interesting happens. Instead of me just quoting the longest yard. Bye. Hector <laughs> Guzman, please return to the security screening checkpoint. You have left behind your entire suitcase. Just imagine. Hector! Riveting. Probably. Oh, here's another one. That's Mason, that's Tyson. I thought that's a girl. That's... With a ponytail. Madison. <laughs> so, these are my dudes. It's kind of, it hurts to come back here to Houston because it reminds me of all the past times that we had working on the shuttle. You can see he has a crescent wrench in his hand. I actually gave him that crescent wrench. A lot of people mistake uh, that the bodies are buried, and which the more they are buried, they're actually encapsulated in these suits. They're really thick suits, so you can't smell, you know, the rotting flesh. I'm gonna start crying, I can't. It's of walking? I don't think so. <laughs> gonna run, but there's too many people. Oh my gosh, this is Look at my uh, fitness goal is reached. I nicknamed myself Trap Queen on my phone, so people know. Oh, I feel like I'm, I got one of those MTV. So tell us about your crib. I'm here so much. All I do is travel. It's in my middle name. So we just went to this cantina place, right? Guess how much these peeps wanted for a chicken quesadilla. Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I'd pay like fourteen bucks for a good quesadilla. An airport quesadilla? Are you kidding me? Twenty bucks? That's mm mm. No. Not for me, Sunny boy. Oh, that's good footage. Are you kidding me right now? What? That is the best combination of food I've ever seen. And then we got a strawberry black lemon tea thing. How was the flight? Good. That was a good flight. <laughs> I guess. Turbulence. A little bit. We are on the ground. Conclusion to the Texas vlog. We're tired and we're not that enthusiastic right now, but what do you expect? Yeah. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. All the stuff with the things and the stuff. Meme of the week is going to be right there. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!